Hello, I'm Dr. Kelsey Logan, sports medicine physician and director of Cincinnati Children's Sports Medicine. This is the fourth module in this educational series for youth coaches. In this module, we'll review signs of breathing issues and how to assist an athlete with asthma treatment while on the playing field. At the end of this module, you should be able to perform the following actions. One, recognize signs of an asthma episode or attack. Two, know where and how to access the rescue inhaler for each of your athletes who has asthma during both practices and games. Three, be able to operate the inhaler to help the athlete use it during an asthma attack. Four, recognize if and when emergency services should be contacted. Five, understand appropriate timing of asthma inhaler use and determine its effectiveness. Asthma is common among athletes and about 90% of athletes with asthma will have symptoms during exercise. Athletes who only have symptoms during exercise have exercise-induced asthma. Objective one, recognize signs of an asthma episode or attack. Look and listen for the following signs to assess if an athlete may be experiencing an asthma episode. Wheezing, tightness in the chest, unable to speak in full sentences, coughing uncontrollably, flaring of the nostrils, exhaling that is significantly longer than inhaling, or the athlete's breathing may also look different or abnormal. Their chest will seem to move inward when inhaling and outward when exhaling, and the abdomen will move opposite the chest in a seesaw type of motion. Objective two, know where and how to access the rescue inhaler for each of your athletes who has asthma during both practices and games. Athletes who have asthma can and should exercise. In fact, exercise can help control asthma. However, some athletes need medication to help them manage it. There are two types of asthma medications, controller and rescue. On the playing field, athletes would use their rescue inhaler, which acts quickly to ease the tightening of the airways and relieve the coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing, and chest tightness that happen during an asthma attack. Some inhalers, particularly for children and young teens, are used with a spacer that allows the medication to get to the lungs more easily without being absorbed in the mouth. At the start of the first practice of the season, ask all of your athletes if they have asthma, and if so, what they use to treat it. Then, with each athlete, identify their rescue inhaler, whether it has a spacer, and where it will be kept during practice and games. Make sure this is the rescue inhaler and not the controller medication. Objective three, be able to operate the inhaler to help the athlete use it during an asthma episode. If an athlete is having an asthma episode, immediately get the rescue inhaler and help the athlete with its use. Have the athlete exhale, place the inhaler at the lips and have them slowly inhale at the same time they activate the inhaler. Have the athlete hold their breath for about 10 seconds before exhaling. Repeat three more times for a total of four. This is a single dose. Over the next five to 10 minutes, look for signs of improvement, less coughing, easing of shortness of breath, and less wheezing. Objective four, recognize if and when emergency services personnel should be called. Be alert for signs of worsening, shallow breathing, faster rate of breathing, and decreased alertness. If the athlete does not respond within five minutes to the rescue inhaler or appears to be in severe distress, call 911 and request emergency services personnel. While you wait for emergency services, give another four puffs, which is one dose, from the rescue inhaler. Objective five, recognize appropriate timing of asthma inhaler use and whether it is effective enough for the athlete. The best use of an inhaler to prevent exercise-induced asthma is 10 to 15 minutes before exercise. If an athlete is using a rescue inhaler more than three to four times a day or more than once during exercise, this is a sign that their asthma is not well controlled and the athlete should consult with his or her physician to determine whether a controller medication needs to be prescribed. Although exercise-induced asthma is a common cause of breathing problems in athletes, there are other problems that can make it difficult for an athlete to breathe. If the athlete is not improving, despite medications or other treatment, he or she should have an evaluation for other underlying causes of breathing problems. If you have concerns about your athlete's breathing, please notify their parent or guardian. To review, we've covered how to recognize when an athlete is in respiratory distress, the importance of having the athlete's medication easily accessible during athletic events, how to use an inhaler appropriately, 
when to contact emergency services, and how to recognize timing and effectiveness of inhaler use. I'm Dr. Kelsey Logan from Cincinnati Children's Sports Medicine and Orthopedics. Thank you for your attention to breathing problems in athletes and for your involvement in youth sports.